Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm Andrew Jones Brothers. So today I'm gonna to be doing a vlog that's a little more casual than some of the other ones that I've been doing. I'm just gonna to talk to you guys real quick about three things that are grooming tips that I never leave home without doing first. It's gonna be a shorter vlog, which is probably okay by you, but let's get right into number one. I'm a guy who kind of has some naturally really wild, crazy eyebrows. So a lot of people ask me if I get my eyebrows waxed. I do not. Um, you know, I'll occasionally pluck a stray hair here and there if it's way out to the side or something like that. But for the most part, I stick to the following trick. Before I leave the house every day, I get a handy dandy toothbrush. This is a toothbrush I only use for my eyebrows. I do not use this on my teeth. And I use this to basically uh, make sure that my eyebrows are combed and going in the direction that I want them to so that they don't look crazy. Normally what I'll do is I'll brush them all up first and then I'll sort of go over the tops and, and make sure that no stray hairs are, are poking out anywhere. Um, but I try to kind of follow the natural arc of my eyebrow. So I'll tend to go flatter on top and then angle it on the side just a little bit. Okay, so that was actually a lot harder to do on camera than I thought it was gonna be only because I couldn't see the little tiny hairs on my brow, but you get the general idea. Um, if you have particularly wiry eyebrows, then I do recommend getting the brush a little bit wet first. Um, that'll, you know, help to smooth things down a little bit. I don't use eyebrow gel. Um, I know some people do. I don't like it. I think it makes my eyebrows look unnaturally wet all day, I guess. So I avoid that. Tip number two, we are continuing on with another toothbrush. Now this is the toothbrush I will use on my teeth. When I'm done brushing my teeth, I'll typically just rinse my toothbrush off and I just take it and it's a soft bristle brush. Oops, soft bristle brush. I will take it and I'll just sort of rub along the lips. That looks kind of stupid when I do that on camera. This does two things. It exfoliates off the dead skin on your lips, so it makes your lips look a little brighter um, and less chapped. And then I think it also helps pump your lips up just a little tiny bit. So tip number three, after I go over my lips with my toothbrush, I get out a little bit of the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. Uh, this thing is, I think it's basically petroleum jelly. I will tell you, it makes things look really, really shiny. So I use the littlest, oh, that was not little. I use the littlest amount that I possibly can. I don't know if you can see that, and that's even probably gonna be too much. So what I'll do with this is I'll take a little bit and I will put it between my two fingers, and then, maybe I'll go four fingers, and then what I'll do is I'll go over my lips just a little bit. And then also, I actually have a really difficult time with dark circles. It's a genetic thing, my mom has it, my sister has it, I have it, we all have it. Um, so what I do is I take a little bit of what's left over and I just run it under my eye. Try to get into the corner of your eye a little bit as well, it just kind of helps to make your eyes look a little more open and awake, but it helps to kind of reflect light under your eyes so it doesn't make them look quite so dark. I typically leave that on for maybe five minutes max. It's gonna kind of melt some and get really, really gooey and then I just go over my lips and over my under eyes and I wipe that off. Kind of a bonus one, right before I'm done fixing my hair, um, to kind of give it a little more shine, I use the L'Oreal Perfecting Oil Essence. It's uh, part of their oleotherapy line. Again, it's something I use very, very sparingly. I do maybe that much. So, super small amount, and then I just sort of go through my hair with that. Sometimes it can look a little dry. This helps to prevent that. Well, there you go guys, three, actually four tips that I do not leave the house without doing first. Super easy to incorporate into your routine. I'll be popping a link below for the oleotherapy from L'Oreal as well as the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream if you guys wanna check that out. And as always, any questions, comments, things you guys want me to talk about, be sure to comment it down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share. I'll see you guys next week.